very lively. He's linked up well there with Whitmarsh. McGerson sprays the ball out to the left-hand side where James Duna is ready and waiting. Duna cuts inside. Good shot from Duna and an even better save from Heimer. Yeah, really nice stuff there. That was really lovely play by Longford there all season, but... Duna to take the corner for Longford Town. Plenty of bodies forward here. Duna whips it in towards the back post. And it's oh. come off the bottom side of the crossbar. It was Aaron Walsh. It's still alive though for Longford. Here's Christian McGerson. Great block by the half defence. Appeals for a handball. It's still alive here. Back with James Duna who started all of this with his shot a few minutes ago. And Duna cuts inside, goes down under a challenge. And the referee what? is going to... Has he given a free kick here? Yeah, he Towards McGerson. Joshua Gurgi might get on the end of this, but Harps manage to get that one away. A loose touch and Victor Seredny Yuki's onto that. And here's Christian McGerson. Lays it into the path of Whitmash. Whitmash with a shot off the left. It's blocked again. Here's James Duna. Will he keep it in play? He will. Quivin Porter stands in front of Duna. So Duna rolls it back to Kieran Hadanu. Hidanu, that's a decent cross from him and a header on goal! Oh, and it looked like it was mother. destined for the back of the net, but Christian McGerson, his header from Flood, and it was a header at the back post from McCallion. Ball still not cleared here. Longford Town still have work to do. Baba could have taken that down. He didn't realise how much time and space he had. O'Brien with the defensive header, but he's got too much on it. And a corner to fit. Ball forward. He goes more direct this time, though, towards Christian McGerson. McGerson does really well to keep it in play. Can he get a cross in now? It's a low Ooh. ball in towards Whitmarsh. That's great defending. It'll fall the way at Durvin. Got plenty on it. Too much on it though. It's out over the bar. Longford Town. They will not want to concede after such a dominant start of the game where they probably feel they should be ahead of themselves. Flood though. Ball towards the back post. Good header back into play. And that was a difficult chance there for Sean O'Donnell. It skipped up quite high. He showed the... Gurgi making himself busy opens up a couple of yards to receive that's oh. some nice trickery there from Gavin O'Brien good tracking back though O'Brien's lost it he's been dispossessed there by Sean O'Donnell and there's a Harps player going down in the centre of the field holding his face off the ball that's uh, Michael Harris that's gone down we're going to try and play through it anyway eventually they do go long up towards Harris Harris and Walsh good battle there but it's long for it to come away with the ball Keen Burr oh. took a chance there Uh, opening 34 minutes although they have gone a little bit quiet over the last few minutes uh, Gary Harps have done well just to slow along for down but as I say that a ball into Gurgi but a great tackle from Cowan but uh, a bit of miscommunication allows Longford another chance McGerson with the shot McGerson with the goal miscommunication between the Finn Harps defenders as a result McGerson pops in there with the quick strike on goal it's in the back of the net and it's one ball into the penalty area That looks like a poor decision there. The, the linesman is the one that's given it. The referee was closer to it. He was happy for playing it. Linesman with a wave of the flag. And it's a really good chance now for Harps to get the ball into the danger area. Again, it's Ryan Flood. He's going to whip this in off the left. Flood with a shot on goal. And it's easily gathered by Jack Brady. You can see Brady was just... Yeah, he's, and, and even like balls that aren't directly to a person, they're actually causing problems. Yeah, he's given them a chance. Yeah. O'Brien scoops it up to himself, crosses it into the area. McCarson with the acrobatic effort. That one will just about stay in play. Some nice innovation. Uh, uh, and uh, no, 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 uh, no booking or nothing. Again, great strength from Whitmarsh. Eventually, though, he loses his footing. Baba runs into the tackle oh, of A. Durvin, and that does look like a free kick, to be fair. Never. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Trying to get something on it. It's still alive in there. I think it was Keith Cowan who swung a boot at that was an excellent ball again from Flood. He's been the main source of chances for Harps in this first half. Lovely trickery again from Flood there. Just drops the shoulder, draws the challenge. It'll be another free kick. Harps end in the half. Schmarsh tries a little extravagant scooped ball around the corner. At least it forced Harps into the, some defending and they've got more to do now. Serenia plays it to Whitmarsh and they just cannot get yeah. the ball away from that man's feet. Yeah, he is having a serious game. Everything is just sticking. Although a leather ball wouldn't stick to Valkyrie, would it? But anyway, you get, what, you get what I'm trying to say. His first oh, touch God. has been sensational. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, and we were looking down here at A. Durvin lining up the free kick. And we've missed uh, a Longford Town player going down. Actually, what Stephen Henderson will want to see up from the very top of the main stand this evening. Unfortunately, Henderson is suspended from the touchline. 
Ball into the path of Harris. Good couple of touches from Harris. He's in on goal. And just like that, it's 1 1. From the start of the second half. And as a result, it's Finn Harps now with the momentum behind them. Here's Baba. Ball up towards De Silva. And. Oh. Ball in the back of the net, but the whistle had long gone at that stage. I'm not exactly for Longford. Seredney, you can James Duna offering the protection to Jack Brady's goal. Flood steps up. Flood, what a strike from Flood. It's in the back of the net. It's 2-1 and Dave Rogers is on the pitch. He is absolutely... As well, so maybe it's his turn this time. They just need to get the ball in quick. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the pace of this game is far too slow for Longford. Oh, and a bit of indecision in the Harps defence. Gershie heads it on. Gershie goes down under a challenge ah. there from Kevin Jordan. That was never going to be given. Look to see this lead over the line towards the big three points. Whitmarsh has done well again to knock this into the path of McGerson. Whitmarsh gets it back from McGerson. Yes! It's in the back of the net. Yes! Goalkeeper would probably be disappointed with that one. It was straight at him, but it was down low. Key Cowan receives the throw. Cowan, long ball forward. Longford need to be decisive here. But uh, everyone was on the... Ooh, I just about to say everyone was on the same wavelength oh, there. And uh, no, Longford, someone needed to take control of that one. That's a bit like the... Right in on the goal line. Header there from O'Donnell. Harps appealing for another one. Lino has the flag up though for a goal kick. I thought that came off Josh Gershie's head to be quite honest. Mm. Number three, come on. Fierce foe there though in Keith Cowan. Cowan with a good strong defensive header. Hedanu, great play from him. Whip Marsh, little touch to McGerson. McGerson knocks it round his man. He's Ooh. on the stretch to try and get to that one. That was unlucky there and he did. Just wonderful. Baba, nothing given. Didn't think of as much there myself. Porter down the line towards O'Donnell. O'Donnell, lovely dribbling, lovely close control. Carries it inside. And it's 3-2 to Finn Harps. <laughs> Damien Duffy, the substitute, has scored. But that was all down. Oh. Burn out to Hidanu. Clever header inside. Jamal on the turn. Has to check back again, though. Good defending from Baba. Durvin. Good ball into Gershie. Oh. Gershie goes down under a challenge. Big appeals for a penalty. Not going to be given. Keen Burn. That's not a bad ball, but Harps had the extra numbers back there to defend. Oh, and Gersey absolutely clattered. Gersey looks hard from exactly the same position. The ball came out of the pit. Longford sending the big boys forward. Keen Burn's gone up from the back. Burn that ball was towards him. It's over his head. Durvin with a shot. Didn't fully get hold of it. Appeals for handball. Nothing given. Durvin now the last line of defence. Durvin. McGerson. Jack Brady. Offside. <laughs> he has to get home now. 